Oh, the dogs. You know, for me in life, it's just time. It's hard for me to believe that we came back from Florida. And since that time, I've never taken the uh, Harleys out that we took to Florida. <laughs> Am I right? No. This was Tennessee. Jesus Christ, I can't even remember, everybody. Yes, it's Tennessee. Easter, uh, what was it, Easter weekend? I can't remember. Of course I can remember that, because I freaking died. So, when was that? Back in March? Eh, who the hell knows? Anyways, here we are. So, I'm going to get the bikes out, get in the garage, and uh, I'm going to think about some things here. Well, I got the confidence that the back area here is solid. But now, one advantage of keeping bikes in these trailers, they don't get all dirty. But I gotta get them out. We gotta ride. We gotta ride. It's always about that exhaust note. She's in neutral. But see, for me, this bike's too cramped for me. See this here? I get just a little, this is a little cramped for even though my, some ways, I don't know, I've gotta sit on my brake out and think about that. Let's see if she starts. This poor bike, I'm going to tell you straight up. Had I known that the 2024 Harley would have redone the CVO, I never would have bought this bike. I really need to sell it. What would somebody pay me for? Would somebody pay me $35 for it? What would somebody pay? I really, I really should put this on Marketplace. I need to do that. I, that's a great idea right now. Okay, is this the bike that saved my life? It is. This is a motorcycle I've ever owned at the closest call of death ever. And wow, so let's start her up and get her into neutral because I put them in, I always leave them in gear when I, it's so weird because I'm so not used to the, uh, the different, there is neutral, let's just in this one. Okay, one Harley, two Harleys. Three Harleys, four Harleys, five Harley Davidsons. Beyond believable. Ridiculous, really. I mean, in all sincereness, um, I would take three. But probably four, because the fashion on is so nice. I like the old style, but I don't need five. Because that's who I am, right? But anyways, I always see adventures. Now I'm going to take pictures of the uh, Road Glide 2021 CVO. See if they're going to buy it. That's my next project. All right, now time to put the cars back, the bikes back. You know, it's interesting. I did have these Harleys up at Frederick Harley. I can't remember a damn thing. I took the Harley Davidson uh, Lowrider ST to get its first service. I took this to have the battery checked. And thank goodness they got the battery right finally. And we figured out not to have the uh, trailer trailer thing where the bike moves around. So uh, making progress here, but can't remember a damn thing. Put the Camaro back in. Think I put the Harley in front of the Camaro. That'll give it a good look. And <laughs> what else are we going to do? Besides hack and cough and the smoke in the barn. I mean, the smoke does kind of get to you. Probably I'm hacking and coughing more. Ugh, yeah. As if the birds are me. But back to the Camaro, which is such a free spirited, fun car. And what can I do every day in my life besides clean a car? <laughs> I mean, no lie. Eh, so many years ago, that bugged the crap out of me. It doesn't bug me anymore. It's like, whatever. As you get older in life, you just start to look at things differently. So, uh, here we go. How about that, huh? And now for me, I have so many different cars. Where's reverse? The Mustangs are up and left. This is up and right. The uh, Corvette is up and down. I mean, <laughs> and it tells you right there. But no backup camera. Yeah. So, you know. Be careful, Mr. Iceman. All right, so I bought this nice little pouch that I can carry my registration in, a water bottle, whatever it may be. And uh, let's see how this looks on the bike. Does it look appropriate or stupid or goofy? Check it out. All right, 
How about that look? The kid's saying, but you're deflecting your light. Eh, I don't write at nighttime, whatever. <laughs> so uh, I had it up top. I don't like it. I think that's cool. Well, the biggest thing is I just want something to be able to put my registration on, on the bike. You know, water bottle, whatever. Just little stuff. All right. Dark horse time, you know. Basically, 10 year difference, a 10 year difference, so many ways. Because the Camaros E28 was released in 2014, and this was released in 2024. I mean, it was released before then, but as far as it's the 2024 model, so the Mustang to the Camaro, 10 year difference. And which is more fun, right? I mean, both are a blast. But what's crazy is that Z28, you know, that was a close to an $80,000 car, brand new, back in 2014. And here's the Dark Horse. I mean, it's 60s to 70. But we got the probably behind me. So, all right. All right, there it is. We're coughing and hacking. So I just talked to my friend Chris. And what he's telling me is, I mean, I just don't go on vacation, people. People don't understand this stuff. I go see family. We go on vacation. But the whole point is, my friend Chris says they just hobnob around the beach area and go to different vendors, the different bike dealers, and buy paraphernalia stuff and whatever. So I don't really think it's worth. Why do I want to take that? I don't know. I think about it. Right, kid? We'll think about it. Let's go close up to our trailer and call it a chill out time. Okay? You can go close that up. I appreciate it. Uh-oh, I better not forget to plug in the lightning truck. That's one thing about these electric vehicles. <laughs> if you uh, don't think about it, you'll totally forget to plug this vehicle in. I mean, it looks like a regular truck. Beautiful evening here. And my whole vehicle smells like WD-40. Oh, not glorious. It just doesn't end, man. Watch out, puppies. So, uh, plug this thing in and chill out for a while. All right, that's a wrap. It's a wrap on moving the cars around, getting the uh, breakout fixed, getting my bag to cover my light, and hopefully the tire holds its pressure. I think it will. And there it is. So uh, what are we riding now? My good friend Chris wants to ride this weekend. So what am I going to ride? What do we ride? And my pro charging station came in for me to uh, upgrade my whole barn electricity. Oh, look here. See, I've already forgotten. <laughs> no lie. It is so easy to forget about this charging system here. I mean, it's so easy. If you just don't pay attention. And I got creative out here to make it all work. Or did I? <laughs> Whatever, Iceman. Here you go. Push the door. Plug it in. I did a lot of miles, so this thing needs energy. See that? A little over two bars as they trip on my own freaking wire all right that's it keith wants to play i'm small smoking yeah i'm a smoker all right and kiefer is a ball boy all right everybody thanks for I like to make little videos what goes on here at ice age tv so have a great evening god bless